Okay, hello. Praise the Lord, everyone. So, in this video, this is going to be about um, using Silhouette Design or Silhouette Studio to print in order to make bigger prints for sublimation. So, I'm just going to be going over how to import your picture into Silhouette Studio and then you're just going to print it. You don't, for this particular um, project, you don't need the silhouette, the cutting machine. You don't need the cameo, the cutting machine. You just need to be able to print and have your printer that you're using for sublimation connected to your computer. Okay? So, I'm going to go over here. This is to import. And I'm going to choose something that I was working on. So this is my picture that I'm choosing. And then what you're going to do is after you import it, I already have it set up. I have, let me take this off. I have the paper set up. Okay. So we're going to be using, um, for this particular project, I did a notebook. So I'm going to be using 11 by 17 paper. Okay. So in order to do change your paper size, your paper settings, you're going to click here for your paper settings. Okay. I've already changed it. So it's under width 11 inch by 17. If you're making a larger image, which we know that you could use either a roll of sublimation paper, or if you have sheets, you could change this, the paper size to uh, 13. I also have 13 by 19. Okay. So then it's going to change your paper size. Don't, you don't have to worry about the red marks here because you're just printing. This would be, you know, if you're actually using the silhouette to cut. Okay. So as long as your image is in the parameters of the paper, then you're good to go. So I'm going to change this back. I'm using 11 by 17. So this is going to be the size of my A sub paper is 11 by 17. Okay. So for my particular project, I'm doing a notebook and my notebook is a little bit bigger than um, a regular Actually, it's a notebook cover. It's a notebook portfolio. So it's a little bit bigger than the average sheet of paper of eight and a half by 11. So let me measure it so I could do it exactly how I did it. So I believe it's 9.5 by 12.5 are the measurements that I use. Don't quote me on it. I have to uh, double check. Okay. This is just for the sake of the video. So you're going to go up to object and you're going to click on to scale. Make sure that whatever image that you have here, it's, you have it highlighted. Okay. So you're going to go once again, object. You're going to go to scale and click scale. This is going to show up. Unlock it so you could change the size. Okay. So I'm going to do it. I think I did it 8.5. 8. No, I did 8.7 because I want it. You always want to have a little more for the bleed. Okay. So 8.7 by 12.7 were the measurements that I used. So my image is in the parameter of the piece of paper and like i said this is going to be for a notebook whenever i you could see on here that it is hanging over which it's hanging over the mat but that's not what we're using so we're just using this to print only this is for print only you cannot cut um without the actual uh cameo machine okay unless you have the business edition where you could import it into your Cricut, but that'll be a whole nother video.
This is if you just have the basic edition and you want to use it for sublimation. You don't have to go to the next um, program unless you desire to. Okay, this is just for printing. So anytime there is letters on your image, you have to mirror your image. So you're going to go over here to object. Please excuse my dog in the background. You're going to go to object, scroll down to mirror, and we're going to flip it horizontally. You always have to remember that whenever there is writing in your image, it has to be flipped so it could be faced the right way when you sublimate it onto your project. Okay? So then you're going to go over to print. Send to printer. You're going to choose whatever um, machine that you have converted for sublimation. I have the Workforce 7710. You're going to go over here to preferences. You have to make sure that your settings on your computer that's connected with your printer are that they match. Okay. If they don't match, your printer is going to ding orange. Okay. So we're going to go to preferences and I already have it set up. Document size is tabloid. I'm going to click this so you can see the options that there are. So here's letter, tabloid. I mean, I'm sorry, legal, tabloid. And then for 13 by 19, it's super B. Okay. So for this particular project, we're going to keep it at tabloid. Make sure it's on portrait. And I always leave mine. I don't change this unless I'm printing from my, and if I'm printing from Cricut Design Space, I print on plain bright white. But when I'm printing anything else, I use premium presentation paper mat. You have to find out what works for you. This has actually worked best for me. Okay. So make sure it's on color and then you're going to click, make sure it's on portrait, make sure it's on color, and then you're going to click. Okay. Okay. So Normally, this would be if I was to change, if my, if I had to change my settings, it would have me, this would be highlighted for me to click apply. But I've already had them set up, so that's why it didn't, um, highlight this. I'm not gonna print it, but after you set it up, you're gonna click apply, and then you're gonna print. Okay? So that's basically it, and then I'll do another, uh, directional video for me putting this project together. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and enjoy our videos. Have a blessed day, and Jesus loves you.